So we've had the chance to ride a Molten the last couple of weeks over varied terrain. And in this video, I'm gonna answer a lot of questions that you guys have been asking about how it's different from the Brompton, why you would choose a Molten over another bike, and most importantly, how does it ride? So find out after the bumper. Welcome back, Pathless Peddlers, and if you're new to the channel, if you're interested in unique bikes like the Molten or in things like bike touring, fly fishing, all the good things in life, then be sure to subscribe, this channel is for you. So jumping right in, we've had the chance to ride the Molten for the last couple weeks. Uh, we just took it with us on a trip to Mississippi where we rode it on flat rail trails, on rolling hills, and even some decent climbs. And during that time, you guys have been asking lots of questions uh, about why the Molten and how it's different from the Brompton and other bikes. So I'm gonna jump into that right now. So number one, the Molten is not a folding bike. Although it looks like a folding bike, it does not fold. It is more of a packable bike. Uh, it's probably closer to an SNS coupled bike or a mini Velo that you can break in half and put into a suitcase. Other big differences between the Molten and the Brompton is the uh, wheel size. Uh, the Moltons use a 20 inch wheel, the Bromptons use a 16 inch wheel, and the gearing is vastly different as well. Brompton has their own kind of proprietary 3x2 setup. The Molten, on the other hand, can be spec with fairly standard road parts. Uh, on this build that we have, which is a Molten SST, you can get it with, with the Campy Potenza group, which is kind of the Campy uh, wide range double. Another big difference, clearly, is on the Moltons you can use drop bars, and on the Bromptons you're kind of limited to uh, the straight bar and M bar and the weird uh, P bar. So point number two, the Molten is a travel bike. Uh, its closer cousin would be a SNS coupled bike or something kind of like the Bike Friday, although the Bike Friday fold does fold. So when we flew with the Moltens from uh, Portland to Mississippi and back, I really had no problems, just kind of checked it as a regular bag, no oversized fee. Uh, no bike fee and no uh, weight overage fee, which was awesome. It makes a great uh, travel bike in that respect. So why a Molten over a SNS coupled bike? I'd say that the uh, disassembly and reassembly is slightly uh, easier because a Molten does use a smaller wheel size, uh, it can fit in a smaller case, and unlike uh, an SNS coupled bike, especially larger frames, uh, you don't have to remove the fork. Smaller wheels make it easier to stuff it in the case. So point number three, although the Molten looks kind of like a city bike, similar to the Brompton, uh, that can't be any further from the truth. If anything, the Molten rides closer to a road bike. In fact, that's kind of how uh, Alex Molten envisioned the bike, as kind of a full suspension road bike. And I can attest that it's really fast, uh, accelerates really well, climbs fairly well. And during our time in Mississippi, uh, we had no problem keeping up with other road riders on full-size bikes. So yes, you can ride in the city, but really, truly at the heart of it, in the DNA of the Molten, it's meant to be a high-performance bike, meant to go the long distance. So point number four, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about the ride quality of the Molten. And uh, the best word to summarize it is smooth. Smooth, smooth, smooth. There's an elastometer in the rear, and there's a leading link uh, suspension spring in the front and this does amazing things to dampen the road surface. In our time in Mississippi, we rode it on things like chip seal, on wooden bridge crossings, on a beach boardwalk with big gaps uh, between the concrete tiles, and the front suspension did wonders to really even out the terrain. So surfaces where it would be totally annoying to ride it on a carbon road bike, aluminum road bike, uh, the Molten just ate up the big hits and smoothed it out perfectly. I know it doesn't seem like it should be possible, especially with a small wheel at, higher, at, at a high pressure, but the front suspension and the rear suspension do a fantastic job in smoothing out a lot of bumps. So that said, the smoothness does come at a cost. If there is a downside to the Molten is that it does tend to bob a bit when you put in uh, big accelerations. So it is not a sprinter's bike. And if you like to stand and climb, uh, it's probably not for you. But if you just sit and spin and go into a smooth, fast cadence, you can get up the hill no problem. But that said, uh, you know, as long as you're not going for the sprint points, and if you're not hammering it up the hill like Contador, then I think the Molten is plenty of bike and is a fun, smooth ride. So point number five, who the heck is a Molten for? I think after having the chance to ride for the last couple of weeks, uh, it makes a great high performance travel bike. 
If you have to fly out for a brand renewing event or uh, just do a lot of business travel and you want to have a bike with you at all times that's easy to take on the plane without any major hassle, then the Molson is definitely a bike to consider. And for us, that's how we see it fitting into our lives. These days we do a lot of flying to go to conferences and filming and all that stuff. And it's so much easier to just fly with the Molson, bring it on with you on the plane, uh, get to your destination, assemble it and ride. As you guys know, we've experimented a lot with uh, shipping bikes and shipping is fine if, you, if it's an occasional thing and if you're like a single person, but since we travel in a pair and we travel a lot, uh, those shipping costs just add up and that's where a bike like the Molten just makes perfect sense. So these Moltens are on loan. Uh, we've got a couple more videos planned to do with them. Uh, I'm actually really curious to see how it would do on a gravel ride. So I'm actually gonna put uh, some slightly wider, wider tires and take it through Forest Park and see how well the suspension deals uh, with gravel grinding. So stay tuned for that video. I think it'll be really interesting. And I think that's it for this video. My five kind of things to know about the Molten. Uh, if you guys have any questions, leave those in the comments below. If you're curious to see how the Molten gravel grinds, then be sure to subscribe. That's gonna be coming up next couple of weeks. And thanks for watching.